but I'm going to need some help here. I'm Micah. Clytus, I'm bored. What plaything do you have for me today? An obscure channel <coughs> the inhabitants called Geeky. Geeky. Damn, I can't remember the lines. <laughs> what? Is it, no, okay, ask me if I'll destroy it. Will you destroy this channel? Of course, it annoys me incessantly. <laughs> Geek, e puppet. <laughs> <laughs> Savior of the YouTubes. Jimmy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway. Hey. <laughs> One second. I'll, I'll do it properly for you guys. Oh, you yeah. know, play the. Hello, everybody. Oh, jeez. Oh, and you guys, do you know what's going to happen now? Is what are we here, here for? You're here for? For what? For what? <laughs> wow. Yes, I... Pass. <laughs> it's easy Pass! Cheesy Pass! Yes, yes, you're here for Cheesy Pump, sponsored by Campbell's Soup Productions. And, you know, and... Uh, and she won. Yeah, maybe Orson Welles. Who knows? He'll be here forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we have a special treat tonight. We're going to try to keep it as short as possible. So my 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 uh my older friends can go to bed, <laughs> you know. Your older and friends. I've already got my hour two sign ready to go. <laughs> what about your hour three? Oh dear. Gotta yes, make yes. One. <laughs> we are <coughs> we are reading giant size X Men, but only the first part. We're not reading the three other reprint stories, but we do encourage you if you do have this book. To uh, donate to the Kiki Puppet Show, we'll put our PO box down soon in the chat, and, <laughs> and we accept it gladly. Um, but that being said, let's just jump right into the show so we can get this over do. with. Please do. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to share my screen here with some magic here, and it goes. Whoa! And we weren't even introduced. You're, you're becoming more and more like Puppetine every day, Frog. Well, I, I well, well you have we're your, in a hurry. So, yeah, yeah. Do you want to wait? To, well, he's wanna... not here. Why should we be? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Really, with me is Maranya and her never dying tree. Good evening, hey. everyone. And then we have Mr. Eric Breen. Yeah. I just want to point out the fantastic art on this cover. Oh, yes. Yes. If only we had an alarm for this. <laughs> yes, we should look, borrow it. Look very really close, Mike, and tell us how great it is. It is yeah. really, it is really he good. He knows how it's great one it of, is. One of his better drawings, definitely. He knows how great it is. See? I'm, a, look, I'm okay. <laughs> look, oh, yeah. If we let you go on, you'd start talking about Dave Cockrum. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like I'll, Dave Cockrum. Yeah. I'll serve with joining us tonight. Is trustee sidekick welcome back? We missed you last weekend. Aloha, and last but not least, he is our favorite, uh, Wyatt Wingfoot. He'll be here tonight, and he's uh, he's been reading our our nice story here with us. Thank you, BB. Your graphic, you're welcome. Yes, yes, drink it in, man. Kill Kane, yes. So, with that, what they do, Mr. Narrator. <laughs> <laughs> the grandeur and the glory begin anew with <laughs> Second Genesis From the ashes of the past There grow the fires of the future Mr. Stanley <laughs> Who's Tell me, what are you presenting tonight? <laughs> the uncanny X-Men Who is writing this and editing it? The co-creators of this absolute genius comic book are Len Wein and Dave Cockrum. Yay! Who's the second best artist of Dale Gale Kane? <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've already read them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. 
<laughs> okay, we're gonna skip the callers. All right. <laughs> Zach, Zach told us to. Okay. Yeah, he didn't want to read those anyway. Winseldorf, Germany, nestled deep in the Bavarian Alps, this tiny village has hardly changed over the centuries. In Winseldorf, life is gentle, peaceful, ruled over by the Burgermeister Meisterburger. <laughs> Um, it, Vegman, I just yeah. got a text from uh, from Zach asking if he could help read this particular chapter. <laughs> well, yeah. you see, I got, also got a text from Zach saying, "Help! He's <laughs> being chased by villagers." <laughs> <laughs> uh, but nothing ever happens here to disturb the domestic tranquility. Can we get James Mason for this? This way, man. The monster went this way. Went that way. Yes. Oh, they're chasing you, trust you. Yeah. <laughs> God. Monster is it. The fools. It is they who are the monsters. They with their mindless prejudices. Perhaps things would be simpler, safer, if I had stayed with the Jarmacht. But the life of a carnival freak is not for me. Not for Kurt Wagner. Let them come if they must. Let them try to kill me. Their Jarmark is translated English to Walmart. Right. <laughs> ah, what do you know? You should have stayed at Publix. The shopping is a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> at least if I die, it will be as a man. Ironically, the astonishing leap alone lends doubt to Kurt Wagner's humanity. Hey, we got him now, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, you come down here, monster. Come down or we'll burn you down. Like we'll Seth Rollins, burn it down. Burn it down. Burn it down. Burning down the house. And his hideous howling, like that of a baying beast, denies it completely. Go away, you fools. I have done nothing. Mm -hmm. Have you seen nothing? <laughs> but the only response the cornered misfit receives is one he had hardly expected. They're utterly mad. Their threat was serious. They'll destroy their entire village to make certain that they destroy me. You know, Zach should have been reading this role. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Angry mob. Speaks mm -hmm. German. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jawohl. <laughs> And for what reason? I came among them only to learn. Yet all I've learned thus far are the ways of blind, unreasoning violence. I mean, can you blame her? You look like a devil. I guess blue lives don't matter. <laughs> well, if that is all that those who dwell in the normal world have to teach me, I will show them that I learned my lessons well. Wow. And that's how he died. Oof. <laughs> Very well indeed. Howling wildly, Kurt Wagner plunges through the thick of the mob until the sheer weight of its numbers carries him down. <laughs> yeah, we have him! We have him! Quickly, bring the steak! Medium well, please. Not they can the steak. Anybody want to read this? No. Oh, now, you monster! We will be rid of you! And now, we will steak you and then we'll go get some uh, get some coffee. Is, is, is that Simon <laughs> Stag in the background there? Stop! <laughs> And remarkably, they do. <coughs> Boss, they, they are not moving. What has happened to them? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, what happened to them, Kurt Wagner? <coughs> My name is Charles Xavier. Who did this to them? But how? Why? They're on fire. <laughs> they are yeah. not IPs for the taking. <laughs> I heard you say you'd come here to learn, 
My friend, I am a teacher. I run a school for gifted youngsters such as you. It's called the Mickey Mouse Club. A school <laughs> for mutants. Oh, you are the Guma. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> Guma. <laughs> Mutant. Yes, I have heard the word. You are a mutant, Kurt. I can help you find your true potential like I did Britney Spears. <laughs> can you help me to be the normal? After tonight's misfortune, Kurt, what you truly want to be? <laughs> Perhaps not. I want only to be a whole Kurt Wagner. If you can make me that, teacher, I will go with you. I will follow you. I didn't know he's only, you. he's only half Kurt Wagner. No. Quebec, Canada. Few people know of this secluded military installation. Viewers still know of its true purpose. Mm -hmm. Yes, we make make bossy up there. <laughs> Ooh. It is the home base of a special governmental agency, and its very special agent. The agent cipher coded Weapon X. This is a colonel or something. <clears throat> or, or is it a secretary? I don't know. Is it a secretary? Yeah, I'll say it is. Yeah. Okay, I'll take it. They are waiting for you in the, the sir, and they're waiting for you in the conference room, sir. Good. Let them wait. It's good for the soul. <laughs> but better known to us as the Wolverine. All right, gents. <laughs> I'm here. Yeah. Who is the bigger you want me to meet? Oh, I wish I had a wig. I am the <laughs> big wig the Wolverine, Professor Charles Xavier, at your service. I'm supposed to be impressed. There's Apparently, girl. the top brass is impressed, Wolverine. All I know is that the professor is here to make you some sort of offer. Murray and Ginger. An offer, hey? Okay, Prof. You piqued my curiosity. What's the deal? Am I getting my own series? Not just yet, but I'll come straight to the point then. I know of your recent battle with the Hulk. And moreover, I know of your powers. In Hulk number 181. The, the first appearance of Wolverine. Mega bucks. 180. <laughs> <laughs> you, my friend, are a mutant. And I have need of mutants. Desperate need. Wow, he looks so old in this <laughs> <laughs> my God, he does. But what about my position here? Oh, my. I'm offering you a chance to become a free agent. A chance to learn to put your powers to their greatest use. A chance to get out from under the red tape and the rigmarole, eh? Out right, Professor. <laughs> you found your man. What? Not so fast, fella. The government has invested a great deal of time and money turning you into what you are now. Oh, dear. <clears throat> you try walking out on us, and I'll have you locked up. Like a Wolverine standing, hands on hips. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> Shona. It seems you didn't get my meaning, and friend. There's still a free. It's, this is still a free country, isn't it? A few more years. Trudeau gets in charge. Well, what wasn't his daddy in charge these days? I think so. Or is that too too far back? I don't know. This is seventy five. So I'm resigning my commission. Effective immediately. Except for his daddy. I'm sorry, his daddy was busy running Cuba. Yeah. Unless you, of course, 
Have any further objections? I didn't think so. Believe me, mister, you haven't heard the last of Ernest T. Bass. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you want me, you know where to come looking, bub. Come on, prof. Let's go down the stairs. You what first. Hell, really? <laughs> uh, do it Tommy Udo style. <laughs> Nashville, Tennessee. A visitor to the Grand Ole Opry finds he has a visitor of his own. The Cora! <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's legitimate this time. <laughs> Tis Professor X himself now. Benchy, I must talk with you. I'm surprised he wasn't talking with the girl with the pigtails. The, it, it, Legion of Superheroes. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Shortly in the Banshee's shabby quarters. So oh, that's the story, is it? Then sure, and I'll help you, Professor. It'd be nice to tread the straight and narrow for a change. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what were you doing before? <laughs> I don't think I want to criminal, that. not get your mind out of modern DC, damn it. Uh, I'm Marvel. It's Marvel though. <laughs> Kenya, East Africa. Atop a lonely knoll, there stands a great stone portal. <laughs> and a future president of the United States. <laughs> Whoa, is this thing on? <laughs> Men come to it in humility. Their voices raised in praise and song and prayerful supplication. We're moving on up. Uh, warning up for anybody. I, I want to take this moment to say a special warning. Uh, there are those who are storm simps. You will be sleeping <coughs> harder with this next couple panels. Aurora, great goddess of the storm, the voices cry. Come unto us and ease our burden. And with the hollow peal of thunder and the moan of lonely winds. That's not the lonely winds moaning. <laughs> the storm goddess comes. Huh. I am here, my children. What do you wish of me? Cable TV. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a Starbucks. Yeah. Check it, Holmes. Lunar shuttle tickets. There's drought upon the land, blessed one. Our crops wither. Our grass is parched. Ten goats and chickens shall we slay in your honor. If you'll only bring us rain. <laughs> yes, yes. <clears throat> Her eyes are crystal blue and older than time. They sparkle as she answers. Save your beasts, my children. You need them more than I. I will do as you plead. That's cool, because I already am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With 11 herbs and spices. Mm -hmm. And yeah, liquid really eyes KFC. grow dark then, and the sky grows dark as well. And her hair covers her boobs, mm -hmm. <laughs> which are exposed. Mm -hmm. I'm eroding exposed. <laughs> Hello, true believers. <laughs> <laughs> Once more, the howling winds come up and sweep the storm goddess away. She soars aloft like an even bird, lightning lancing from her fingertips, the glow of life shining full upon her face. She is happy here, only truly happy here among the elements. And the raging sky, touched by her happiness, Weeps. <laughs> when the storm goddess returns to earth at last, her joy is shared by all. Hey, most impressive display, Oro. Truly beautiful. But you can let Africa suffer. You don't need to be there. Save them. Bless the rains down in Africa. Uh, bless the rain. My wheels are getting stuck in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> That's your, wheel, your wheels, huh? Mm -hmm. who, who are you? Ooh, 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 ooh. 
What business have you in Aurora's land? I am called Xavier, and I have come to make you an offer I pray you will not refuse. You are not the godfather. An offer? What have you to offer a goddess? I'm just cringing how this scene would be playing out in today. She'd be calling him a white man and telling him to be gone. I should colonize her. Get back to the mayonnaise factory. Be gone, honky. You have a land, Oro. And people who adore you. But I want to conquer it. <laughs> I offer you a world. Disney World. And people who may fear you, hate you, but people who need you nonetheless. The Disney World I offer is not beautiful, but it is real. It's expensive. Far more real than the fantasy you're living now. What do they say about people who need people? They're the luckiest, luckiest people. people. You, you could be here as a queen, be free, or you could come live with me and be my slave as they tell you what to do. <laughs> <laughs> you are no goddess, Horo. You are a mutant, and you have responsibilities. Come with me, child. Taste the Disney World outside. You may find its flavor bitter. Or surprisingly sweet. Taste the rainbow. Mm -hmm. Be the rainbow. <laughs> <clears throat> you present a most peculiar argument, Honky. Yet <laughs> I sense a deep sincerity in your words. Alt right, I will come with you. <laughs> no, he can't anymore. He's, he's disabled. Um, yes. Perhaps the time has come for me to leave the nest at last. Those parts still April, work, damn it. April, <laughs> April 12th, 10.06. The time that we completely broke Marania. <laughs> you did not completely break me. Osaka, Japan. Two old acquaintances shared tea in the splendid garden of Shiro Yoshida. I know your feelings toward the Western world, Shiro. And I would not have come to you. But you require help that only I may give. So, I, I owe you nothing, Professor. But perhaps I owe something to myself. Why are we sitting on the floor? I don't know. But because like, Godzilla broke all of the chairs. Will this become like you only live twice? Mm -hmm. Professor going to dress up? Mm -hmm. Perhaps it is time once more. For the world to hear from Sunfire. Ooh. Lake Baikal, Siberia. It has been a good year for the Ust Ordinsky Collective Farm. The crop has been larger than expected. The wheat fills the fields like an ember sea. And those who toil in the fields are filled with a feeling of satisfaction. The knowledge of a job well done. And fear. Peter, look. Your sister, Magic. She's kissing girl. What is? No. <laughs> Peter Rasputin looks up from his work, and his eyes grow wide with horror. He discerns it all in an instant. The runaway tractor. The child playing blindly in its path. Everyone standing around with their cell phones out, but nobody stopping to help. I want to say it's really cool because they adapt this in the, in the actual cartoon. And without hesitation, Peter Rasputin is running, legs pumping, heart pounding. The very air around him crackling with the energy of his exertion. Energy released in a most astonishing manner. The armored machine bears relentlessly down upon the unwitting child. And she's going to be magic one day, carrying a giant sword. I don't buy that. I don't either. That's Alicia. As an armored colossus snatches her from its path. Is that rushing uh, Alicia? Because she can't see the tractor coming. Right. 
It's worse than Helen Keller. Uh, she, had, <laughs> she, she had her earbuds in. Mm -hmm. There is no time for Peter Rasputin to move out of harm's way. Sure Thus is. he stands his ground as the rampant tractor plunges towards him. Oh, the humanity! And he wonders how his poor neighbors will ever afford to buy another. So, how does a tractor drive by itself? No one there was on my honor. Yeah, I didn't kill him. <laughs> and it wouldn't be going 70 miles an hour. <laughs> uh, it sure went got to him, really. <laughs> that, though, is a worry for another day. This day will be filled with problems enough. Peter Rasputin, I wish to talk to you. That the voice in my head. Who? Eh, by now we know the answer to that question. We should. He's had enough dialogue mm. for, for ten issues. Boy, I'll say. <laughs> so moments later. You want me to go with you to America? Yes, sir, so that someday... Myself and my sister may have how you say menage a trois with Kitty Pride Parade. I'm, mm. su I'm surprised Glossin say if she dies, she dies. <laughs> if I possess such power as you say, does it not belong to the state? Pull my pixel finger. <laughs> <laughs> We're moving that way. <laughs> power such as yours belongs to Disney World, Peter, to be used for the good of all. And believe me, your powers are needed. They make me money. <laughs> then come. We will talk of this with my parents. And so this professor wants to take me with him to a place called Disneyland to teach me how to make money for him. And as I become his intellectual property, there is wisdom in his words, Papa. He, he's forcing me to say that, but <laughs> I am happy here. Tell me, Papa, what should I do? Papa, can you hear me? Hey, this dude is your heart. It tells you, my son. It will not betray him, but know this. If you go, we have no tractor. We will all <laughs> starve to death. <laughs> My heart tells me to stay, Papa. And little snowflake, you have aged horribly. You look like old woman now. Oh, that's not you. That's Mama. Yes. But my conscience tells me otherwise. I must go, Papa. Then it is all right that you do. Dos for Donya, Peter. We shall be dead within two days. Our love goes with you and our lives. Do not worry, Mama. I will write you about all the wonderful food I am eating while you starve because you have no tractor. <laughs> and goodbye, Papa. I will make you proud before you starve to death. We are already proud, my son. And oh, hungry. I, I, you are very hungry. We shall eat your sister tonight for dinner. <laughs> I should sure get around. With good bottle of vodka. Yes. Camp Verde, Arizona. John Proudstar does not like the reservation. He does not like to watch the old ones sitting slumped against their doorsteps, dreaming dreams of glory long gone, planning to open a casino. John Proudstar is an Apache, and he is ashamed of his people. The Apache were meant to be hunters, warriors, not sad-eyed, simpering squaws. They were meant to run free through the crisp plains grasses, the wind blowing wildly through their hair. Once, nothing could stand before the Apache. The bison that covered these plains fell like rain before Apache skill, Apache bravery, and John Dunbar's rifle. But never did any bison fall like this. There, one one, do you see? There is still a man among the Apache. 
Doom. And such a man have I come <laughs> looking for, John Proudstar. Huh? I don't swing like that, pale face. What may come to collect? <laughs> now, how many places did a cripple get way out here? Not that it matters much. You've got five seconds to vamoose, wide eyes. I don't want company, especially yours. Oh, excuse I thought you were Wyatt Wingfoot. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, don't be too hasty, though, my young friend. I've come to help you fulfill your dream to give pride <laughs> back to your people. It's not you. You are special, John Brownstar. You are a mutant, and you are needed. Mm -hmm. He gave you your pride back on June, and you're special, and you're mm -hmm. needed. Oh, boy. And you can stuff a cactus, plus Custer. The white man needs me. That's tough. I owe him nothing but the grief he's given my and people. Now beat it. Just beat it. Ooh. I, uh, I offer you a chance to help the Disney World and you turn your back on me? <laughs> yeah, I, I, that's not a good idea, John. Yeah. <laughs> then perhaps what they say is true. Perhaps the Apache are all frightened, selfish children. Okay. That does it. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Hockey smokes. I guess it's going to be for that too. Smokes. Hockey smokes. That does it. <laughs> Ain't nobody that calls me a coward, mister. I'm as good as the next fall guy. Hell, I'm better. You give me a chance, I'll prove it. And you will have your chance, John. I promise you that. Uh -huh. But will you... Will any of my new X-Men be equal to the task that lies before you? Or will you carry the Disney World down into ruin? Like the other properties you have. What do you want to do just recruit Bob Iger? <laughs> oh, we, we, we forgot to I guess we forgot to tell you that Sean Connery DG is easily in, in the lung, but it's okay, though. This is worth it. This and is I know, worth it. I know, though. I know. <laughs> Chapter 2. And when there was once. It's probably not a good time to say there's five chapters in this. Oh, boy. Well, get through oh, fast. Sh oh, shit. <laughs> Westchester, New York. The school had seemed a latter day Tower of Babel at first, but a telepathic crash course in the English language wow. had closed the communication gap in mere minutes. Now, <laughs> Professor Charles Xavier sits somberly studying his colorfully costumed IPs. And whatever thoughts he might have had at this point are his alone to know. In all my life, I have never understood how a graphic man tries to make sense of things that happen in comical books. <laughs> in such clothing as this, I have never seen. In fact, I have never seen clothing on you, woman. <laughs> the, the costume is beautiful and the fit perfect. But how did you... He measured your cup size. Oh my god, he did, didn't he? <laughs> and he, everything else. Oof. The uniforms are constructed from unstable molecules. I knew it. <laughs> just themselves where necessary. I obtained them from a man named Reed Richards. Of course. And I'm certain you'll learn more of him and his and friends later. <laughs> but right now, but hit him a beer. <laughs> I think you forgot to mention that you traded the case of beer <coughs> them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right now, you will tell us why you're drunk this game, Professor. Mm -hmm. I, for one, am swiftly losing my patience. Yeah, sure you are. Sunfire, please. Say licorice and lollipops. <laughs> It was not my intention to waste your time. I've merely awaited the arrival of one who can explain the situation far better than I. You mean pronounce Rickrish and Rory Pop better. <laughs> and here he comes now. My aunt friends, allow me to present 
Scott Summer. Yeah. Yeah. Called Cyclops. Yeah. Or, or Cyclops, excuse me. He will <laughs> fill you in on the details. Mm -hmm. The details, people, are depressingly simple. You've been called here because I want to read a 37-page th story <laughs> with five chapters and a lot of dialogue. Because you suck. I guess <laughs> Bumpatine has disappeared. Uh huh. Never thought I'd miss him, but I miss him. <laughs> you seven are our only hope, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Come on. I may as well show you where it all began in my monologue. Oh, dear God. <laughs> here we go. This here Cerebro. Cerebro, if you call it. Our specially designed mutant detector. Yes, it separates the humans from, from the mutants. Segregation at its best. Mm -hmm. It's through this mechanism that we discovered all of you. And I lost my closest and friends. Cerebro gummy bears. We all answered the signal alarm within seconds, unlike Puppetine, who slept through it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 the rest are Angel, Iceman, Marvel Girl, Lorna Dane, and my brother Havoc, and myself. What is it, sir? Sarah Bro. Has never reacted so violently before. <laughs> what it is, Scott, is incredible. Apparently, Cerebro has detected a new mutant on the island of Krakoa in the South Pacific. A mutant so powerful as to defy classification. It seems you all have work to do, Scott. Find that mutant quickly before someone else finds him first. You heard the professor, X Men. It's clobbering time. I mean, traveling time. Don't be taking my, my trademark line. Hey, it's time to go to Kokoa. It's 2015. Mm -hmm. I thought they'd never leave. <laughs> <laughs> Shortly after, our specially designed straddle jet arch high over the patchwork countryside. It was at this moment I forgot the, the, the fill up the, the gas tank. You forgot your beers. And streaking towards an unknown, unknown confrontation. But at that moment, my mind was on another. Two other things. <laughs> <laughs> that were resting on the dashboard. Uh, Eric, do you want to take her live? Hello! Dear. Wish we could have contacted the beast. And don't I sound wonderful now that I've kicked my Chesterfield habit? Absolutely. Hank McCoy's dexterous digits might be a hand job on a, I mean, <laughs> handy on a job like this. Mm -hmm. Soon. I mean, I have that suit. Uh, don't get, don't I, get Bobby excited now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, don't worry. In a few years, I won't. Don't, hey, watch your hands. Bobby's watching me with the glare. <laughs> and he looks like he's Captain Adam. Mm-hmm. Hank graduated uh, the X-Men team. If he hasn't got time for us, now that's his business. Just like Puppetine. We don't need him. Mm -hmm. Right now, we've got our own business to worry about. That's Krakoa. Dead ahead. I think this might be a Bobby. Or, 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 over one second. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was. Did you assign him to anybody? No, I did not, because I didn't know who it was. I don't know who it is. Yak, you need it. What? Say it with me. 
Yick. Yick. Yeah. You'd need a superpower just to survive on that desolate mud bar. Enough banter. Strap in for landing. Oh, my. Strap in? Oh. Not that way, Bobby. Or on. <laughs> we touched down. Yay! <laughs> and we went for the extra points moments later. <laughs> Our VTO. Asterisk. Vertical takeoff and landing. Thank you. Thank you, Len. Or I mean, I, I mean, Stan. A jet's lowering us to Earth as gently as an infant's lowered into its cradle. Mm -hmm. eh. Like dropping puppetine from a high cliff. But we were not infants, and this was not definitely an old child's game, and puppetine died. I think we took the wrong bus, gang. This place doesn't look like Cleveland. All the insects in the air, the overgrown jungle. On second thought, maybe it is Cleveland, Ooh. snark. I told you before, Iceman, show the snappy patter. <laughs> I'm using that from now on, Sammy. <laughs> We have a difficult job ahead of us. We gotta find that new mutant. This is Angel. Do you assign anybody to Angel? I think it was Puppetine. Oh. <clears throat> Maybe an impossible one, psych sick. <laughs> when you consider we have no idea what we're looking for. Ha -cha -cha. Ha -cha -cha. Point taken, Angel. Let's fan out and see if... Oh, behind us. Look, look, it is it. <laughs> Quick. Everybody scatter. Get moving before we... <laughs> Their faces. Look at that shot. look. <laughs> he looks like he's 50. Oh, my God! <laughs> he looks like he's 90. What are you talking about? At least 50, I was going to say. I'm ashamed to say... I never even saw what hit us. Mm -hmm. My head was th a throbbing mass of pain and screaming images when I struggled awake. Lord knows how long afterward. I didn't realize where it was, nor did I really care. All that concerned me was that I was half naked. Mm -hmm. With a throbbing mass. Yes. Oh <laughs> and some weird substance on my leg. Uh -huh. I am friends. What happened to the other X-Men? <laughs> Worse. What had happened to me? My eyes! I saw Angleton! My heaven! My eyes! They're uncovered. They're... They're normal. Powerless. However hard I try, I, I can't project my optical blast. <laughs> Did you hear me, world? I can't... Huh? That's when I discovered I was back on the straddle jet and I wasn't in control. Automatic pilot is jammed. Can't turn this crate back to the island. I spent the next five minutes pounding futilely or futilely on the control panel. Then resigned myself to the situation, sat back in my seat. I wasn't happy by the time I reached Westchester Cathedral. No, not happy at all. Slam! Bam! Professor, I'm back. Cyclops! What? what? Where are the others? Then the professor was no happier than after I told him, because I beat the shit out of him. Definitely. I'm not happy. <laughs> you lost a lot of IPs. <laughs> you mean to tell me the other X-Men are still on the island? And you have no idea what happened to them? Ah, I, I know nothing, Professor. Except <laughs> that something on Kakoa cured my eyes and deposited me back in that. Huh? What is it, Professor? Why are you looking at me like that? Y your eyes, Scott. They're glowing again. 
thanks. I, 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 I no one's ever told me that before. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly, Scott, grab some protective lenses. Your optic powers have returned. No, not again. Don't let it happen again. My hands are completely destroyed from the lasers. <laughs> <laughs> but I should have known better than to even ask. The optic energies that had cursed me since my early teens were back again with a vengeance. And this time they were so strong, even I could not control them. Only two Ks. Three. Three Ks. So close. Oh, yeah, we have three Ks, yeah. The professor modified one of my old visors to contain my increased power. Then left me here to retrain myself while he went in search of you. Mainly, I just turned on TV and watched cartoons. Mm-hmm. And he found us. So what now, bub? So now we go back to Kakoa to found the original X-Men and the mutant that defeated us. Incorrect, Cyclops. Now you go back to Krakoa, not I. I will have no part in this fool's errand. What? You traitor. <laughs> I don't understand you, son of fire. We offered you a chance to help your fellow mutants, and... I do not even like my fellow mutants, Cyclops. I certainly will not risk my life to help them. <laughs> you owe us after World War II. <laughs> oh. I, I don't feel sorry for you. That won't be some fire. And I won't waste my time arguing with you. The rest of us have a job to do. And we're going to do it. Mm -hmm. Moments later, the Stratojet streaks Skynard. Skynard. <laughs> and there is only one empty seat on board. Wow. <laughs> it's it's actually pronounced Skinnard. Hello. <laughs> Skinnard. <laughs> is that the free bird? It's, a, it's as free as it's a our... bird now. <laughs> it seems I've had my first taste of mutant camaraderie. And I must say, Cyclops, I did not like it. Maybe you didn't notice, sister, but this group ain't exactly a mutual admiration society. It's the Mar Mary Marvel Marching Society, actually. Again. We're all involved in this fiasco for our own reasons, girly, and patting each other on the back ain't one of, huh? Hey, one eye, there's something following us. I see it. Geromino! It's... <laughs> well, I'll be digging. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. It's, it's actually me. <laughs> no, 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 it's me. No, it's a one eye. No, it's, I'll be, I'll be jiggered. It's talking about you. Oh, are you sure? Yeah. I am sure. Yeah. All right, all right, you be the racist then. Yeah, well, I'll be jiggered when I, the Jap. Yeah, I'll, fine, I'll be the Jap. I'll, I'll, I'll be the Zach tonight. I, I don't mind. I float through the air with the greatest of these. <laughs> An embarrassed graphic to where he flees. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to open the hatch, Cyclops? <coughs> There's sick rips. There. Do you expect me to fry all the way to Krakoa by myself? So... Radical mutant returns. Why did you change your mind, Sunfire? Afraid to go home alone? Ooh. Ah! That's not what your mother said, Wagner. <laughs> Ooh. My reasons are nobody's business but my own, misfit. You do well to remember that. It's a science. Good show. Captain Three, Assault Force. <laughs> Remember, five chapters. An hour passes. Two hours until the forsaken eight hole called Krakoa looms full before the viewports. So that's where you mislaid your partners, huh? Can't say much for you tasting vacation spots, Summers. 
But at least after this issue, there'll only be one Thunderbird. Mm. <laughs> and I can't say much for your sir, sense of humor, Wolverine. No, yours, Thunderbird. Huh. The name is Proudstar, One Eye. Not anymore. The professor has given you all code names, group. You might as well guess. Start getting used to them. You're all been bought. In You're all intellectual properties now. Damn it! <laughs> now the assault teams will be as follows: Storm, you and the Rusky will come in from the north. Banshee and the and that jackass Wolverine <laughs> will move across from the east. Agora. It's a pleasure to be working with you, laddie. Whoop de fucking do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, there's actually a puppetina in, in the chat. Some <laughs> some Valerie and the Nightcrawler will start searching from the south. No, Gazira. <laughs> no. I did not hear Cyclops giving you a choice, man. <coughs> Thunderbird and I will handle the west end of the, of the island. Now get ready, South Dream. Your drop is coming up. I don't much like the tone of your voice, Sickrips. Yeah, I don't care either. Get the hell off my ship. We can argue about it when you get back. Now go! Yeah. East team, go! Cripes, do you have to screech like that? North team! <laughs> that is our signal storm. Colossus, no. Okay, I'll put pants back on. <laughs> you fool. You cannot fly. Of course not. But I can land with the best of them. Mm -hmm. huh. Huh. The chick and the whiskey have landed. And it looks like they're arguing. Which is about par for this outfit. I should probably tell you that. I don't want to fly this thing. Oh, sure you don't. So strap in. <laughs> We're going down. We're dead. We're <laughs> most, most sincerely dead. I haven't met a crash landing that I haven't been able to walk away from. Mm -hmm. Once more, the Stratojet's VTOL system lowers it to Earth. And though he tries, the man called Cyclops cannot suppress a shudder. How many more will we lose this time, he wonders morbidly. Will I even live long enough to find out? <laughs> How many more IPs can we lose? <laughs> But he's a professional, this star-crossed mutant. The questions follow him as he steps out onto the landscape. But he leaves his fear in the ship. Ace is that way, Thunderbird. And the sooner we get started, the sooner we'll get there. Yes, sir, General one I sir. I just hope you're not leading me into another little bighorn. Okay. You kick your man at head, I'll give you a bighorn. Uh-uh. It'd be just my luck to be the first Indian to get massacred by. Hold it. I'll have this mini cerebral back in the... Huh? I don't believe it. Don't believe what? Are you walking on air? The stratagem. It's, it's gone. It, it's gone. Yeah. But that's impossible. The ground doesn't just open up and swallow a jet plane whole. Absolutely outright. And strange temples don't just suddenly spring up out of nowhere like puppetines. Yeah. But one has. Huh? That joint wasn't there when we landed. Looks like looks like a casino. Oh, 
Was that you? You, you can, That's that's me. Yeah. You, you handled it better. That's what threw me off. I did. Exactly. And since it seems a good spot, this yes, right. As any to start searching, let's go. Mm -hmm. Rumbling in annoyance, the mm -hmm. mutant mm -hmm. now reluctantly called Thunderbird. Follows, follows his cyclopean companion into the verdant yes. underbrush. John Proudstar has never much liked the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. Even when he had jungle fever. Mm -hmm. And apparently, the feeling is mutual. They're alive. They're alive with the sound of music. <laughs> Welcome to Hentai Island. Oh my god. No wonder smiles, the kids everyone smiles. No wonder the kids like Kokoa today. Mm-hmm. A condition we show we we won't share much longer unless we do something fast. That fine Corinthian leather. Mm-hmm. Got any suggestions in particular, one eye? Gays. Zoom. Not really, Thunderbird. For a beginner, you're doing pretty well on your own. Four Z's, though. I, hey, what if it's four Z's? Hey, Zaz is here. <laughs> Zaz is, is. Within moments, the two young X-Men have left the strangling creep of vines far behind them. And it is not terribly difficult to determine which way they have gone. Which way did they go? Which way did they go? Fourteen minutes later. Well, we made it in reasonable shape and on time. Mm -hmm. I wonder how the others are faring. Will they make it before hour two? Yeah. Well, minutes earlier, on the island's north side. Odd. I do not recall seeing that temple before. Come, Colossus, let us begin our search there. To the Casbah. To the Casbah. <laughs> Whatever you say, Aurora, you are so unlike the girls in my eh, that hockey smokes. <laughs> An avalanche. Rumble. Ready to rumble? <laughs> Those gams! Yes, yes. Quickly, Colossus. Perhaps we can still outrun it. <laughs> Go read. He look at the assist. I think that's Boisemore. In what world does that spell Boisemore? <laughs> Six minutes. This is this is this is capitalist bullshit. <laughs> this landslide. Cannot be outrun, Aurora. It has changed its direction to follow us. You know what's great about this? It's a made-up word, probably, because there's no asterisk explaining what it is. Yeah, that's true. It's not. <laughs> oh, then if we cannot avoid a confrontation, we must stand our ground and defend ourselves. This never happens to Rocket Red. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Those mad rocks can no longer hurt me, Aurora. But Sticks this tree will hurt you when I smash you in face. <laughs> but for threatening you, I shall crush them. Ooh. Like iron claw. Oh, I thank you, Peter, but there is no need to protect me. I am no longer threatened. Not true. You I are a woman. Donk a donk. Take that, Sue Storm. Woman need protecting. Woman must be protected to make sandwich for men. I'll make you one later, honey. And the borscht. <laughs> and shortly. Storm, Colossus. I'm glad he made it in one piece. That is supposed to be a good show, so I've heard. But this will be shorter. I yes. promise. Barely, Cyclops. Cyclops. Just barely. I only hope the others and friends arrive safely as well. Begora! Welcome to our two. We still got Almost. 40 or 20 seconds. Not according to my clock. <laughs> well, your, your clock is running fast. Your, your clock is very fast. 
And on the island's east side. <laughs> Says laddie. Really look at the size of them breasties. I mean beasties. <laughs> <laughs> They're now it's arrow too. Looks like the local <clears throat> monkey committee Irish. Uh, is this you or me? You. Oh, sorry. But a handshake from one of them can be fatal. Good thing they're not the only ones around here with big, sharp claws, isn't it? Ooh, look at them crabbies. The Wolverine has claws of his own, and Irish, he likes to use them. Hey, are you just going to stand there gawking, Irish, or are you going to freaking help me out? Are you trying to get the cap off me, Whiskey? <laughs> <laughs> but the errand-born mutant is already aloft. And though his sonic scream is not nearly so flamboyant as his companions, his and companions slashing talons. Flamboyant? What? Yeah. Die next, boy. <laughs> flamboyant. <laughs> <laughs> it is nonetheless equally effective. The battle is violent, but brief. Well, laddie, sure and it looks like we are done for the beasties. We'd best be getting on to that wee temple we spied a touchback. Yeah, sure. But I'm going to have some lobster first. <laughs> oh, that looks good. Give yeah. me some cheddar biscuit. Surely there's nothing keeping us here anymore, me boyo. Uh, only me lucky charms. And soon. Oh, Faith. Tis good to be seeing ye all again. Twas a moment there. Oh, you had me doubts. And you were not alone. No, I had this guy with me. While on the island south side. <laughs> these oh. birds seem determined to prevent us from reaching that strange temple ahead, Sunfire. A remarkable observation, Misfit. You have a positive tyrant for stating the obvious. Mm -hmm. Ah, your sarcasm is uncalled for, Sunfire. I begin to think the mutant community is no more hospitable than the human, eh? That bird about to rake me with its talons. Scree! A burst of flame, the stench of brimstone, and the mutant called Nightcrawler is suddenly elsewhere. His laugh is little more than a hideous howl. <laughs> Your manner seems much like that of beasts you so resemble, misfit. How appropriate. But Sunfire has no need of such parlor tricks as yours. I much prefer the direct approach. Making fried chicken. Hey, your direct approach, it appears, has left us without opponent, Sunfire. Then I suggest we get on to that Juno Temple misfit. <laughs> Assuming, of course, you can keep up with me. We're Shirley Temple. And finally, Cyclips, have we kept you waiting long? <laughs> Not at all. Just got here ourselves. Five minutes ago. Mm -hmm. So what was the point of all splitting up over the island? <laughs> I was trying to, <laughs> to minimize some of the IPs. We're going all new, all different next. <laughs> <laughs> and since we are all Finally here. Finally! Finally! <laughs> Finally. Finally. I think it's about time we found out what's inside of this tumble down temple. I got a gut feeling someone here lured us for precisely that purpose. And I'd hate to disappoint them now. Mm hmm. Hmm. Appears we're going to have to earn the dubious privilege of getting in there. Door sealed tight. And it's about a foot thick. Sunfire. Speak and enter. 
Sunfire, Storm, Colossus. Looks like the time has come for your first practical lesson in the art of being an X-Man. The lesson is entitled Breaking and Entering. And although the neophyte X-Men lack the finesse of their predecessors, they certainly get an A for effort, true believers. Quarum. Still slightly astonished by their own abilities, the young mutants step cautiously into the Stygian darkness. Oh my god. Look at her butt. <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> and find their hearts swelling heavy in their throats. Oh my dear god. It's the the other X-Men. Da. And something seems to be feeding on them. That is I. Dra oh, I'm not in this comic. <laughs> oh, it's Gary Duggan. No. Well, don't just stand there staring at them in Petty's name. Set them free. Free, free. <laughs> Set them free. Cripes, what's going on? As soon as we pull these tubes loose, the place started shaking itself apart. Well, quickly then, carry whatever you is closest to you. And let's get out of here before this temple comes down around our ears. Groom. And even as the arcane temple topples into ruin behind them. Hey, they're coming around. Mustn't have been as bad. Why, sick lips? Why did you come back for us? Ha! Cha-cha! Huh? You fool! <sighs> Don't you understand? It wanted you to come back and bring others with you. It was all a trap, and now it's too late. Too late, baby, now it's, it's too, too late. late. The ground reared up around the fallen temple. Of course. Haven't you realized yet? We came to this island to look for a mutant. Ha-cha-cha. -cha. But the mutant. But the call is coming from inside the house. Crawr. And we still didn't decide who's going to be Krakoa, the voice. I'll be Krakoa if you want. <laughs> no, 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 no. Trust you. You be Krakoa. Huh? What? 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 About, what? What, about, what about Graphic Man? He hasn't had a line. <laughs> That's true. You, if he's still awake, uh, you're Graphic, you're Krakoa. I'm, I'm asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Images flood mutant minds as they stand rooted to the spot. The sudden burst brilliance of an early atomic test, whose unseen radiation permeated every living organism here. Until they grew linked in a colony intelligence that gave the island a life of its own. But the giant sized man thing grew hungry then. A hunger barely appeased when the X-Men arrived upon the scene. Krakoa fed upon their mutant energies and grew hungrier still. Wait, you're telling me that Krakoa was evil back then? And somehow it's good? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. Yes, it was evil. <laughs> no. So uh, evil. No. So evil. Thus it released one X-Men and sent him forth to find more food, which Cyclops did. By the way, uh, Krakow was, it looked like they were. it was holding them for ransom. How much was the ransom? <laughs> I don't Good know. Question. We're on Chapter 4 now. Chapter 4. Krakoa, the island that walks like a man, talks Talk like a like man. A man. Walks like a man, my son. It's Swamp Thing. I, yeah, it is, pretty much. Really wondering how much the ransom was going to be. Okay. 
No idea. Uh, graphic? I guess he is asleep. And now we will go hungry <laughs> no longer. Oh, yes. Uh, that, that's the, why I mentioned graphic, because I knew you were going to go to this voice soon. You only have two voices to go to, Julia Childs or, or this. Oh, bite you know, me. You know, yes, Paul, <laughs> yes, Paul, you filthy monster. You, you use me like a lousy Judas goat leading lambs to the slaughter mm -hmm. so you could do that voice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes, we used you, eyeless one, as we used the legless one who gathered you all together. At the command of a voice, only his mind could hear. This will break down. I like no, will break he's, down. he's not like Lieutenant Dan. He's actually got legs. They just don't work. But the time for explanations is past. Now it is time for Krakoa to do the Dick Cavett show. Mm -hmm. No! Scatter, X-Men, quickly! Ugh! Three Ks, almost. <laughs> Zach! Oh, darn. You lily livers want to scatter that swell. But the Wolverine is going out for blood. There will be no Halloween special this year. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> you kids. Real cute. Assuming, of course, this vegetarian monstrosity has any, which is doubtful. Your solar blasts have no effect on the thing, Sunfire. Yeah. Or Krakoa. Mm-hmm. Huh. Nor do my bolts of lightning. But we must fight on whatever the risk. And I get to show off my badonka donk again. Who wears short shorts? Yes. Fight on, I will. fight on till you I have wear short one shorts. sons of Washington. Mere words could never begin to describe the sheer unbridled savagery of the battle that follows. So we won't even attempt it here. Lazy. Yes, this keeps showing more close up of a storm. Yes. Just look at all these butt shots, ladies and gentlemen. Mm hmm. Look, they got some serious. Uh, it's, Steve, there. it's Steve Dicko appreciation. And Sunfire has given Banshee a little pat. Mm -hmm. Suffice it to say that the conflict goes wildly on until. Scott, stop. You're going about this all wrong. Huh? Professor. I've been mentally monitoring your battle thus far, studying this living island, and I believe I've discovered its sole weak point. Now, this is my plan. In an instant, Professor Charles Xavier's mental commands are projected halfway around the world. Then he closes his eyes, steals himself for the coming ordeal, I guess, I guess. concentrates... I guess Fitbit watch. But still, nothing's <laughs> happening downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> and the battle is joined. One, two, three. Oh. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> but there's four M's. <clears throat> I, I noticed that last one spelled Kramer. It, it, it's so right. it is a war fought on two fronts as Professor X wages deadly mental combat with a crazed community IP while his students <laughs> race to carry out his plan. Breakfast at Tiffany's. <laughs> at Cyc Cyclops's command, the eyes of the mutant called Storm grow dark once more and she soars aloft on the wings of the wind. Colors of the and she shows up her backside again. Mm -hmm. And now her it, front side. It was the wind beneath her wings. Yes, it was. High above Krakoa, she hovers, slowly summoning to her the tempest's 
full electronic fury. Then suddenly transmitting those seething energies to the lithe young woman who waits anxiously below. Thus restoring the mighty magnetic powers of the girl called Lorna Dune. <laughs> Within moments, the circuit is completed and Lorna Dune screams in anguish as her physical limits are reached and exceeded. Don't stop. Lord, whatever you do, don't stop. Give me the guilt cane law, please, honey. I'm giving you a no shot and everything. You've got to call it off, Scott. Lorna can't take that kind of punishment. She'll be killed. Alex, I can't. I can't sacrifice a world to save one woman, Alex. Even if she, if she is the woman you love. I swear to you, brother or no brother, if she dies... He did it for Gene. Shut up, Scott. The remainder of Havoc's angry outburst is slain by the crackling roar of the thunderous downpour. Even as the torrential waters lend life to something else. The bleak and beast is getting stronger now. But who? Wait, is there only one K? Two Ks. Cyclops, the island's mind has suddenly grown more forceful. I, I, I can't maintain my assault any longer. Forgive me, Scott, but I fear you're on your own. It's a hostile takeover from DreamWorks. Warner <laughs> <laughs> Brothers. Fools. You brought rain from the sky to destroy us, but it serves only to replenish us and give us strength to destroy you. But as before, the X-Men argue that point quite strongly. Ow. Awesome. Hello! <laughs> See, two voices. <laughs> yeah, more no, I got, I've got a third one. The third <laughs> one says, go after yourself. <laughs> <laughs> we can't hold that thing off forever, Scott. If the professor's plan doesn't work. Then we're all going back to Fox Studios. Mm -hmm. That's good. Clint is there. Clint! <laughs> I love you. Clint's a dizzy, though. Oh, dear. <laughs> we'll know if it works soon enough, Gene. Get everybody back. We're ready to begin. With that, a solemn Scott Summers turns to find that the figure of Lorna Dune has become lost within a coruscating incandescent tower of sheer magnetic force. His mutant eyes narrow, and a single word forms upon his lips. What kind of word salad was that? <laughs> I don't know, but Roy Thomas will probably wrote it, though. Now! <laughs> With almost indescribable force, Lorna's magnetic energies erupt downward through five miles of ocean to destroy Atlantis, prompting another war. <laughs> Through 4,000 miles of the Earth's ancient crust, down to the very molten center of the planet itself. Oh my God, what are we doing? It's called the core. Okay, movie. <laughs> Where its effects are immediate and violent. What is happening to us? Why do we feel so strange? And why am I referring to myself as more than one? Our mind hurts. So, oh, I must be a they, them. Mm -hmm. You are. So can't retain our humanoid form. 
please help us. Wasn't he merged of all the life forms on the island? He was, yeah. There, all the animals and, and that plants formed one. It's working, exactly as the professor said it would. We've only got seconds to clear out of here before the end. Orn is too weak to run for it. I'll... Huh? The lady doesn't need your help, Hotshot. She's going to help me try on dresses later. <laughs> so she's in good hands for a change. You know the Hellfire uh, Gal is coming up. Why, you little poofter? Argue later. Now just move it. Move it, move it. And move it, move it, they do. As few other beings on Earth possibly could. Holy crow. Holy, holy smokies. Will you take a look at the beach up ahead? This whole freaking island is breaking up around us. Hockey smokes. Hockey smokes. Angel. And without our strato jet, there's no way we can get far enough from the island before. Huh? That angel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was angel. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I Never let it be said that we Icemen aren't good for something, Angel. Everybody, get aboard me and fast. Oh, my. <laughs> Swiftly, the desperate ex-men clamber aboard the crude ice, craft, ice raft, then hang on for dear life as, as the mutant powers of Cyclops and Havoc propel the makeshift vessel away from Krakoa with the speed of a hurtling hydroplane. Wow. Behind them, the world convulses in carnage as the results of Lorna Dune's energy bolt become apparent at last. For her electrically charged burst has cut across the planet's primary lines of magnetic force, severing them, oh, and for an instant about the island Krakoa Gravity ceases to exist. Oh, no. Then the Earth forces come violently together, and the effect is the same as squeezing wet soap through a fist. Oof. What? Oof. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. This is such a uh, we, need a, we need a death cry from Eric as he reads this. Yes, please do this. <laughs> Krakoa's death cries ring for long <laughs> seconds. The lines of the all struck X Men. In cold blood. Uh, <laughs> other voices. Uh. Then a new, more frightening reality intrudes upon the scene. Brace yourselves, everyone. There's trouble ahead. In real trouble city. behind. Casey Jones, you better watch oh, your oh, speed. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> The ocean is rushing to fail in the space Krakoa just vacated. And we're caught in a whirlpool. Ooh. We're going to go round and round and round and round. Quickly, Bobby. Throw an airtight eye stem over this raft. It's our only chance to survive this miserable maelstorm. Did someone say maelstorm? <laughs> yeah, like Donald. It's raining, man. Hallelujah. Voraciously, <laughs> the great ice bubble is sucked into the wildly swirling <laughs> mall. Did someone say so? <laughs> and those within are batted almost senseless against its cold, <clears throat> unfeeling walls. <laughs> they voice their pain enthusiastically. <laughs> Yay! Ow! Oh, hurt! Yay! Yay! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Hurts so good. Yeah. Baby, it's so good. <laughs> and then they are gone. The seething waters swirl closed above their heads. And for a time, the sea is calm. And then the dinosaurs came back. Not sorry, and then, and they got big and fat and turned into oil. And then Prince Charles started wearing all of Lady Di's clothes. <laughs> the minutes pass interminably. Then the huge gleaming bubble bursts the water's surface, 
and is itself burst in turn by a beam of scarlet fury. Ooh. Wait, how does he know they're up there above the surface yet? He doesn't. <laughs> he tried to kill him. There's no worries to it. He wants to be the only uh, IP. I think that's uh, it's Gene. That's Gene. No, it didn't. That's like yeah. a. That, that a, looks more a, like Storm. Okay. No, 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 no. No wings, though. That, that's Gene. Yeah. Or Lorna. They put her dress on. Might, 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 might be Lorna. She she has a short skirt. That's all I know. And a bug buckle. No, mm -hmm. all right. Um. Take, take it, Gene. Okay. Uh, Hello. I'm going to do one of my two voices. <laughs> Fresh air. A warm sun. Oh, look, Vegman Perry's in the chat. Just kidding. <laughs> Did you ever see anything more beautiful? Why do you tease me? <laughs> it's Perry the Chatterpuss. <laughs> Back. 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 Oh, yeah. Angel. Oh, yeah. That. Almost forgot the old stratojet is watertight. Paddle on over while I go open the hatch at church. <laughs> Shortly, as the stratojet streaked skyward. Sorry we don't have seats for all of you, but this plane wasn't designed to carry so many mutants. Which brings us to our next little problem. Five of you will have to jump to your death. Mm -hmm. I mean, what are we going to do with 13 X-Men? Call Wanda cha -cha. Maximoff. <laughs> Call Wanda we'll Maximoff. Find, we'll find out next issue when the Doomsmith strikes. But wait, let's go to the epilogue. Just kidding, there's no epilogue. <laughs> Is there an epilogue? No, there isn't. Is this it? That's it. It's, it's narrated by Sunfire, so it's an epilogue. Oh, boy! <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you it wouldn't take too long. I was. This is one of the most lacest readings I've ever done. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Great. <laughs> All righty. Well, I want to thank everybody for sticking around, seeing some new faces and some normal faces in here, too, as well. It's great mm -hmm. to see that Palpatine finally woke up out of his coma. That, and, uh, that lazy little piece of felt. Yeah, he was shocked to see that we were actually doing good without him. Mm -hmm. I, I just think, you know, Palpatine, it's like witness a man reaching obsolescence in real time. <laughs> I guess, yeah, we, we, yeah, we've got our Xavier. Yep. Mm. Amount. You've got your angel. You're doing the angel. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, and anybody, I anybody could have done that. Uh, Micah, that was that was an excellent Charles Xavier. Yes, it was. Oh, good. good. Thank you for being here. It's <laughs> out the jam. And thank you, Len Wayne, for giving me a couple of bona fide bagoras. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that first one, I I I I felt bad for Eric. <laughs> Finally, it's actually an official Bagura, and he doesn't get the I gotta it. admit, it hurt my heart. <laughs> <laughs> and I also want to say hello to How's it going, little Gregor? Ooh, I haven't mm -hmm. heard that one for a while. <laughs> uh, Robbie Jr., thanks for showing up. Uh, John's Comic Kids, awesome guy. Thank you for showing up. Check out his channel. Uh, he actually will be doing a Saturday morning uh, little stream tomorrow. So for Ooh, those... Look. Oh, For those who aren't going to be uh, watching um, uh, the peanut gallery guy, nobody's going to be watching that because he's not, yeah, because Rod, yeah. Rod is on uh, taking the, uh, the day off. So he's, check out John's Comic Kids if you haven't subscribed okay. over there. He's, um, he's I'm going comic book hunting tomorrow. I, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm pretty sure Gratu will probably be live again too. Be very, very quiet. He's hunting comic books. <laughs> yes, yes. And uh, Jay Lucian, who I don't know if he's still here, but anybody else who's watching, thank you for being here. And we'll see you tomorrow night with two other readings yep, yep. of Batman and the Outsiders. And then 
Sunday, if the puppet team wakes up on time, there might be readings. If not, we'll we'll do schedule. Yes, yes. We'll be had fun. We'll be here Sunday. Hope you guys had fun, and I was. I had fun. Yeah. 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 Thank, yeah. Have a good night, guys. Good night, kids. Sayonara. I'll see you real soon. Yeah.